Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is unit two, lesson six, introducing double number line diagrams. The objective states I can label a double number line diagram to represent batches of a recipe or color mixture. So with number lines, we know that we can count by ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we can also count by other values like two, four, six, eight, uh, or five, 10, 15, 20 for each of our tick marks. So we can adjust how we um, use our number lines to fit our needs. We're looking at uh, activity 6.3, blue paint on a double number line. It says here is a diagram showing Elena's recipe for light blue paint. She uses two cups of white paint for six tablespoons of blue paint. It says complete the double number line diagram to show the amounts of white paint and blue paint and different sized batches of light blue paint. So we're going to go ahead and label these the same. So I've got white paint in cups and blue paint in tablespoons. So one recipe or one batch calls for two cups of white paint for six tablespoons of blue paint. So this is one batch. So if I doubled that batch, then I'd have twice as much white paint and twice as much blue paint. And then I could continue at that rate. You can see on this top row, I'm counting by twos. So three batches would have six cups of white paint, four batches would have eight, etc. And then on the bottom, you can see I'm counting by sixes. So one batch would have six tablespoons, two batches would have 12 tablespoons. That means three batches would have 18 tablespoons and continuing with that pattern. So again, this is one batch right here of that recipe that she has. Number three says, how many cups of white paint should Elena mix with 12 tablespoons of blue paint? So I'm gonna go to my blue paint and I'm gonna find 12 tablespoons and I can see that it matches with four cups of white paint. Number four says, how many tablespoons of blue paint should Elena mix with six cups of white paint? So again, I'm going to go to the white paint because that's the value that's been named and find, excuse me, I don't know why I did that, find six cups of white paint. You can see that matches with 18 tablespoons of uh, blue paint. Number five says use your double number line diagram to find another amount of white paint and blue paint that would make the same shade of light blue paint. So as long as I follow the same recipe and I double or triple or quadruple, etc., cetera, um, at the same rate, so changing the white paint just like I would change the blue paint, then I could um, make any size batch that I want. So if I look right here, I have one batch, two batch, three batches, four batches, five batches, six batches. If I wanted to make six times as much of this light blue paint, I could use 12 cups of, of white paint and 36 tablespoons of the blue paint. And I'd probably want to find an equivalent so I wouldn't have to measure tablespoons at a time. I'd want to see how much is that in maybe cups or something else that I could use to measure that quickly. How do you know that these mixtures would make the same shade of light blue paint? Because I've increased both of my values by the same amount. This 12 is the same thing as two times six, so two cups from the original recipe made six times bigger. And this 36 is the same thing as six tablespoons from the original recipe and also increased by six. So we used the same factor to increase both of those values in my recipe. Again, our objective states, I can label a double number line diagram to represent batches of a recipe or color mixture. Thanks for watching.